Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. I am doing okay. I am over here printing some things off of the interwebs. And if you hear any of that in the background, that is what it is. So what I thought we would do is do some follow-up, you know, um, some following up to the things that I said we would be doing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we started working on a Wonder Woman inspired junk journal a couple of weeks ago. And so I just pulled up a few pages. I have a few things that I think will look really cute in the journal. So I hope um, it comes how I, I want it to show up. I did get some fabric and I got some scrapbooking paper, which is always a plus, always a plus. So let's go ahead and discuss that first. So I could have sworn, good morning, Heather. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. I could have sworn I had, remember back a couple of years ago, Joanne Fabric, when they first started getting character paper, I mean, char not Joanne, my, um, Hobby Lobby. They had the superhero Wonder Woman, I guess when she kind of resurfaced, as um, you know, everyone's beautiful, amazing uh, person. I thought I had that fabric, but apparently she don't. <laughs> so what I did was I dug into my bucket of fabric and I have this. Good morning, Nix. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. You are on my mind. But I don't want to be a, you know, a pain in the butt. Um, so I pulled this one out and this is actually from Wally World and it said, oh no, this is from Hobby Lobby. It says it's a dollar ninety nine, but I want to say I got this on clearance or it's half off because I don't think I would spend $2 on this Wonder Woman situation um, because I'm quite frugal when it comes to certain like, things like that. And I thought this would be good to go on the inside or this could actually be the outside. I, I'm not sure how it would actually um, work out for me and then I have some paper some little scrap not scrap but um, drawing paper that we could put in here and I got this I don't know if this is actually going to fit unless we decorate it you know I'm all about putting a bag or so in there and then I pulled out this comic book heroes and this is the paper that I was talking about the first time that I couldn't find it and you know what happens when you start to clean up your stuff that you didn't see a long long time ago so anyway I wanted to do a quick flip through and I believe this is Michael's yes a recollections paper pad but I got it from what is that place called Tuesday morning Tuesday morning for five bucks so Yep. And I, I do have a nut. I think I have another paper pad from Hobby Lobby that was like a superhero kind of thing. And also, I'm not quite sure. You know, I think that the, pe the people that make the paper probably all have the fac same factory paper in the same factory, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to take this little protective sticky thing off. I hope everyone had a great weekend. My weekend was uneventful honestly I didn't do much of anything like I should have done I was thinking that it was going to rain so I didn't do anything because it looked the sky was dark like dark dark same for yesterday and it rained some but not as much as I thought it was going to rain so so we'll go over this one and then I went online I just typed in Wonder Woman free images and um what I was looking for I I guess I found so what I had done first is I printed these off on one side and I have a few more that I, I make print off and then I just went back and double sided them but I put the paper in the wrong way so this paper and this image is upside down but I want to tear these up anyway to make some little pockets we got this one this is the first one I printed so these two are boo-boos, I guess you could say. And then this one is a good one. And this just says um, Gray Strength Wonder Woman. And I'm not really making a Wonder Woman per se journal. I am making a journal for Wonder Women. Hopefully that makes sense. So, And I decided that I think, I decided I think, yeah, 
uh, that we probably only need one or two signatures. I'm not sure how many I was trying to go for last time, but you know, this is what we worked on last time. And then I need to pull out some inspirational, like you can go, you can do this, you're amazing and quotes. So we made these little envelopes and then some sheets. I mean, a book is almost completely done anyway, right? We don't, we don't need, we didn't need a lot of stuff. We just needed things to put in here. And I can't remember what I did with the stickers for the life of me. But I do want to make some more envelopes in with the superhero paper. The thing is, this paper is not very thin. So that could be an issue. And we are using this box is from Dollar Tree gift box. Yeah. Okay. So then we have this one. And I thought we could do some card making. I'm not sure really. Um, but this paper is super thick. So what I want to do, uh -oh, it's not tear it up. I'm not sure how you feel about Michael's currently, but I want to say back in the day, Michael's could get all of my coin. <laughs> now I'm like, hmm, should I go to Michael's or another store? And sometimes I'm like, I'll just do another store. Unfortunately, I have all the guys on here. You know, because women can't be superheroes. But this kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman, right? Excuse the glare, please. Kaboom. I thought we would make some cards with this, but then I was like, I don't have, I didn't want to stamp out any ladies <laughs> in color. I didn't want to turn this into a coloring session today. Maybe next time. And I have decided I'm only going to go do live streams on one day a week, Tuesdays. And here we have the girl. It was like, you talking trash, and we did put some girls in there. Yeah, but you put them in the back. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So hopefully everyone had a great weekend. If not, I hope your week gets better than your weekend was. And what we could do... Uh, currently no store really is getting all my coins because I have a plethora of supplies, but I do, you know, I still shop at, um, a few of them from time to time. So maybe we could just put this on the cover. Cause I was thinking I could fussy cut this little city out. <laughs> yeah. I don't, um. I don't shop as much as I did before because I have a, 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 a let me get my words out. I feel like I need to do more with, with what I have versus not. And so um, sometimes it's easier just to dig in your stash. And then sometimes it's like, oh, I don't have this yellow bow. I need a yellow bow but you have 50 different shades of yellow. So you could, you could do a yellow bow with your own ribbon and stuff, but do you? Uh, probably not. So that's where I'm at now. Like with myself, I'm like, no, let's, let's see if we can't, you know, um, use what you have, make sure that this is deliberate and what I want to do versus not being deliberate. And so that's where I've been lately with a lot of things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to probably go and spend some money that I don't need to spend. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm using less cash and crafting more with the things that I do have. What about you? What about y'all? Who's getting your coin? I have seen a few. Uh-oh. uh, uh -oh. <laughs> Uh oh, I but I do plan on stopping at a few stores today. Um, I want to look at a few things, and I think that is this is just my take. Of course, I'm probably enabling it myself, but I do think that as long as you don't overdo it, you have a for real hard stop. Not those. I'm gonna only spend twenty dollars, and then you're like, "Well, that's my birthday money. I have twenty more dollars, and this is my that money." Yeah, 
because the one thing I don't I don't really do a lot of, which I'm so grateful for, is I don't get caught up in the online sales anymore like I did before. Like a lot of people would show their um, haul videos and they'd be like, you know, fill in the blank has a great sale right now. And I would want to go to that store and get all the stuff. But I realized that I don't use that stuff that much. So I'm not, you know, I'm not about to go and do it. It is a few places that I, I have told myself, Ranger is one of them. Like when Black Friday comes and if these particular stamps are on sale, I'm going to get them. Also, I don't like feeling um, guilty for not using, you know, not using the supplies right away. So I try not to um, really get into buying stuff that much anymore like I did in the past. But I think as we mature into a more seasoned crafter, you find your thing, right? Because um, I think that a lot of crafters, new crafters, are influenced by people and sales and things that they um, see other people doing because I think that sometimes we are under the impression that if we have all of this same stuff that Susie Q has, I don't know if it's a real crafter named Susie Q, but I'm not calling her or him out. I'm just saying in general, you know, crafter A has it. If you get it, your projects are going to look just as good. And that's not necessarily true. I've seen people use the same stuff and it, it doesn't work like that. That's all I'll say. Um, let's see. You know, uh, take, for example, myself and Wonder and Dreamer 555. We have, you know, we're doing that collaboration. And we have different taste in, you know, different tastes in different styles. And so what she creates is not what I'll create. Although we did make something pretty similar, which was quite interesting that we did that. And we chose one of the same stamps, but she liked it and I didn't. I wonder what we're going to do this month. I haven't made mine for this month, but it's going to be interesting to see. And like Heather had did that um, hourglass and she had, Wonder Dreamer is is who she is. She had wrote that she had never, she has that same thing and she never thought to do it that way. So that's always a good thing. But, you know, I always ask if I could go back and talk to my younger crafty self, uh, not as in, you know, age, but craft experience i probably would say don't don't jump on the bandwagon so quickly because crafters are very fickle about certain things i think we can um yeah right there well how'd you get in trouble heather that's what i want to know i think we're gonna fold that over i'm curious now inquiring minds want to know yeah, that's going to be cool if it works out the way I'm thinking it will. All right, so let's see. Let me check something really, really quickly. And then we're going to fold these over and cut a few of them down. And we will go from there. Use that noise in the background. Okay. So we have these images right here. Everything okay? So we got this one. This one. And I checked to make sure it fits in here. 
nicely in these two we're gonna crease and I don't know if we're gonna we won't probably won't use that one but I want to crease these was it on your end or my end is what I need to know know what's going on and you know it's the weather Ugh. I'm not gonna stress though I'm not gonna stress about anything so I'm gonna go ahead and crease this oh, okay you're in okay Whew. not good but I hope everything works you know gets it together so I'm gonna go down like this yes And then do the same thing over here. Okay. All right. So let's see if we actually want to do one or two pockets. All right. I mean, two tucks, two signatures. Words don't like want to form properly in my head and come out of my mouth properly okay so we got this one and this one hi samara hopefully you're doing well hope you had a great weekend so now what we're going to do this is not going to be perfect what i'm what we're about to do but we're going to try it anyway okay Do y'all have that ruler that is um, jagged already? I thought about getting one. And I was like, you know what? I saw someone they, um, someone I'm subscribed to on here. And she showed how she just made her own ruler. And I was like, yes, thank you. So we got those two pages. And I think I got that one. And then we're going to have, when I was a little girl, I was so like obsessed with Wonder Woman. I had like the little, um, this is called the camisole, you know, the little undershirt and under um, underwear to go with it. And I see they still make moms do that crap too still today. You know, have you buying all the latest little trendy things? Because my little guy has um, superhero, you know, under, underwear and stuff. Yeah, so um, what the person, I can't remember her name. And she has an a accent, not particularly like a British or anything like that, but she does have an accent. I can't remember her name. What she has is a three-sided plastic ruler. And so, you know, like the cube ruler. And she went around and just notched in random things on all of the sides. She even took it outside and did it like on the concrete and stuff. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. And um, it's, it's great. And you don't have to spend a bunch of money trying to get the one that's already, you know, prefabricated. These are very thick, which is good for us. And we got these little pieces. So now let's go ahead and work in the journals per se. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. We're just going to put the signatures together. We're not going to put the journal together yet. So I think I need to cut these pages down. Yes, I do. So while I'm at it, I'll put these to the side. And I guess we're going to do two signatures. Okay. So 
So we need some more paper. All right, so let's go ahead and get our paper pulled out, torn, and cut. If you are not a person that has a school-aged child in school, but you are a person that does a lot of junk journaling and crafting, I would say now would be a great time to actually go and stock up on some supplies. As you know, school started for most people and they have a lot of back to school stuff. Notebooks, crayons, pencils, all that stuff that we use in our crafting day-to-day -day life. So that would be something that you would be interested in. Now would be a good time to do it. Would I recommend just going to buy it to just buy it? Nah, if you don't really need it, then don't. Somewhere in the garage, I have a lot of craft um, paper and stuff. Hi, David. How are you today? Hopefully well. Just making a junk journal. Not just, but we are making a junk journal. Wonder Woman inspired journal. <laughs> All right, so we got these pages. One, two. And where did I fold this stuff go? Okay, so we're going to fold all this. And try not to drop everything on the floor. Oh, I um, um, can't complain. Woke up this morning. I'm here hanging out with y'all. So I'm having a pretty good day. Having a pretty good day. And I have some adulting to do afterwards. But other than that, I mean, I can't complain. Things could always be better. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this up. I really need like a little robot that's like, oh, you dropped something, let me get it. Because the person that normally does that is at school. <laughs> Hi. Hi, good morning. Feeling great. How about yourself? Can't complain. Just cutting some paper over here, getting ready to um, make a junk journal. Wonder Woman inspired junk journal. And use our guillotine. And what we're doing is try to make sure this doesn't hang out too much. You don't want to cut this lady face off. I mean, if you want to cut her face off, that would be between you and her. But let's see. I think we're going to do this like that. That is great. I appreciate you hanging out with us, coming over, bring your community. Thank you so much. I was like, she's live and I can't go and visit right now because I need to get these papers pulled out. It's always something, right? Most time I just kind of sit and watch, you know, lurk, lurk for a little bit. All right. But now that school has started back, my days decided that I'm going to um, try and do more, you know, do more, be more proactive in some things. All right, let's see. All right, so she still looks amazing. And I didn't want to get the newer Wonder Woman. I haven't seen, I don't watch a lot of uh, the new shows because um, I don't, I guess I don't understand all the alternate universes that they have created. Like they have three different Spider-Men. Probably more than that, because I'm quite sure they had an old school Spider-Man from back in the day. But I'm not sure if he had a movie or not. Good morning, Barry Crafty. How are you doing today? I was sitting here thinking, did I? Right. All right, so we have these two pages. Got this, this. Thus, and then we have this. 
So what I want to try to do, this is just a beginner journal, so we won't be doing any um, sewing, anything like that. Maybe in a couple of weeks, we could um, work on that one, two, three. So we got these three. And I didn't, I thought I had a Wonder Woman stamp or die, but I don't. So what we're going to do is use this yellow one. So yellow lines hi Justin how are you today hopefully well hi Yaya how are you thank you for coming over I appreciate it Hope everyone's doing great having a great start to their week if not I hope it gets better for you all right let's do this we got this here, here. I'm not sure if you all have school age little um, human beings that drive you crazy, but I do. And the school is figuring out this thing called drop off, and it's getting to be quite annoying. Uh, I go to drop the kid off today. And I feel like we waited for 20 minutes. And I, you know, you have to find that sweet spot, right? It's always a sweet spot of drop off. If you missed the time by a minute, you know, you're in trouble. So we got there and... Um, We waited and waited and waited. And today the principal didn't send out his normal message. But I'm like, dude, can we get some consistency with this nonsense? And I'm sure they got a lot of crap going on. But I'm like annoyed at this point. I'm like, ugh. Some of my other parent friends are like threatening to... um remove their kids because last week a lot of the kids in his little circle um got COVID the weekend before like the last the Thursday of the first week of school and so I was like great this is all I need freaking COVID right and I'm not here to debate whether it is real or not you know people can believe whatever they want and they can feel however they want um about it but you know so i get two phone calls and it's like i'm just calling let you know so and so tested positive for covid and i'm like great so here i'm thinking i do not feel like going um to the doctor right i don't feel like going to urgent care i don't feel like doing any of that so I was like, okay, let's test him out and see. So luckily he didn't have COVID, but he did somehow get a cold. And I'm like, really? And so the day that Monday before school started, I retested him. Have you ever fought a bull, you know, like barehanded? I haven't, but I imagine it's like fighting a child that does not want something up their nose, right? And so... Thankfully, he didn't have it, but I'm like, this is ridiculous. And so now a lot of the parents are back on self-quarantining and I'm like, are they quarantining from you or are they quarantining from everything? All right. So we cut these out last time we messed around in this journal and this, I think, was supposed to be our one of our covers. I just thought this was really pretty, like she's doing her thing, right? So what we'll do is put this one on here like that. And take this thing off. I do not want it to hang over too much. You may have to take that off. Let's see. It's still hanging a little bit. But I want to put this on here. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And I am going to use some water, some non-water soluble. I'm going to use this collage glue and it does drive pretty decent 
and it doesn't bubble up. You know, yeah, I mean, um, I, I couldn't, I wasn't going to fight with him, but I was like, listen, I need to see if you have COVID because you can't go to school with COVID. Although I do believe that because people have started to not do some of the things that they could be doing, I guess I wouldn't say should, but could be doing, people are coming in contact and they're just blaming on allergies now. Oh, it's just, you know, is there allergies or, or this or that? Because when the person told me that their child was experiencing the symptoms, I was like, well, did you do all of these things? Did you do this? Did you do that? Did you do that? And they were like, yeah. And so when the next kid had some of the same symptoms, they tested their kid for COVID and they were positive. And I was like, ooh, that sucks. There's a lot of little birthday parties happening already, already getting invitations. And, um, you know, they were like, are you still going to let him go to the party? And I was like, well, We still practice some of the safety precautions, you know, like washing your hands and all of that stuff. So now we're going to take this and burnish it down some. And um, now if you really want it to be fancy, uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying allergies. You could uh, put this on here. If you have comic books, you could have comic booked it out. We're not, I mean, we're fancy, but not today. We're not fancy. We pinky finger up. But not today, okay? Um, It's Tuesday. We're getting down and dirty because we're getting some tacos, right? I wonder who came up with Taco Tuesday because I feel like I could eat tacos every day. Um, That's just me. All right. So got this. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that it's just allergies and it's just this. And I I get it um, because in some people's heads, COVID isn't real. And I told my friend that. I told her, I said, you know, not everybody is going to have bad, you know, bad reaction. Some people are semi-asymptomatic, so you have to be mindful of that. And not everybody will want to, you know, be around you. Because, you know, she said that some of the our friends said they were going back on quarantine. And I was like, from everything or just you or what? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, hmm. Well, that would be something to try and figure out. So this is going to be our first signature. And I think we're going to do this. Well, taco's so good. Mm. You know, I live in a place that has delicious foods and not so delicious food. But tacos from certain places, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. yes. In other places, I'm like, mm, 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 nasty, not so good. Uh, yeah, here we go. But we don't have any like good, in my opinion, good like soul food places. Not a lot of Thai places. Definitely not like a lot of good Chinese restaurants in my immediate area where I live. So I'm always like mindful of that when I am looking for something delicious to eat so we got this page and now we're going to just stick this in now be mindful that if you decide to start putting pages that are not the same size in your journal keep it i always recommend keep it on the first one two or the bottom so middle and bottom because you need this paper to be secured i wouldn't recommend it just hanging out in one spot So I think we're going to try and go for this. So I'm hoping that our signature is middle and then right here. If not, I'll have to adjust that. But this is how it's looking thus far. Okay. And I think I want to put this here. So if you have this, now would be a good time to ink up your edges if you wanted your edges to be distress some I don't even know where this ink is so I'm just using the dried out thing and pretending right (laughs) yeah taco salad is great you know how I always um message berry crafting when I'm trying to do something taco related and I always tell her I use 
for for us, I use um, chips like Doritos, and it's usually uh, ranch Doritos. And my son is very anti lettuce, so he don't like um, the salad part, the tomatoes, or anything like that. He just wants the meat and cheese. So it's always I'm always mindful of that. Yeah, I'm like you know I'm like Barry. I don't call it Barry, but I'm like, uh, I'm making this. I guess because I just want her to be like, okay, that's that's good. <laughs> Not so much, you know, look at how I'm making this, but more so like, oh, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> she don't ever say anything. So I think, yeah, this is how we're going to do this. She always be like, okay. I bet she's like, why are you telling me? I don't need to know all that. All right, so we got that. I think that'll work. I'm going to turn this page. And some more writing spots. And in the middle, I think we'll leave it blank. Writing, writing on this back page. She never says it, but, you know, I can I can feel it in, in my bones. So she's like, I don't care. Eat your food how you want to eat your food. <laughs> she might care. I don't know. I don't think she does. But I'm just looking through these right here. I'm trying to see if I have something that's going to um, look okay. And I think this might look all right right here. So we're going to take this page and we're going to make two tuck spots. My lasso of truth. All right. So this little banner piece, we're going to take it and glue it down. I know. I'm going to still write you and ask you. Now. Nah. So we're just using this uh we are using this what is this glue this is some school glue Right, I'm gonna take these two. Once it dries, we don't want to do it right now, but once it dries, we're gonna just shove it in there, right? And then take this other side and do the exact same thing. I hope everyone is having a safe week so far. I know that um, in my area, they were sending out f flash flood warnings. And I was like, as dry as this ground is, you think that ground going to let all that water, that good water go? Mm -mm. This morning, I um, went outside and it didn't even look like it rained that much. It was just like, oh, a little sprinkle. But of course, you know, in other areas, they probably have more moisture than I do where I live. But I am, I'm not looking forward to fall for pumpkin, anything or, you know, any pumpkins, any jack o lanterns any Halloween stuff. But I'm looking forward to fall for hopefully cooler weather. That is my thing. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right. So we got this. And yeah, signature one is done. Now we're going to move on to signature two. And it's the same thing, same exact thing per se. But now we're going to do this. And I could have sworn we did, we pulled this piece out for a reason. I don't remember why. So it's not going to benefit me to try and wreck my brain to remember what's going on with that piece. 
we're not going to use this one either. I prefer to kind of keep it the comic-y looking situation versus not comic-y. And I think this is cool. This would be a really cool thing for a picture. Yes, exactly. And suck it up and you still gonna have those cracked looking heels, unfortunately. Cause the water is gone. It's like like what happened? Uh the ground was dry. That's what happened. I guess we're gonna have to fussy cut another image. Although I really don't want to do that. Oh, but this is a beautiful face. Let's see. You know, Bear Crafty is a comedian extraordinaire. If you didn't know, she got jokes for days. <laughs> I think this would be a good picture. Be about to find out. Anyone um, besides Heather, because Heather says she's in trouble. Anyone... Um, Out here in these craft buying streets besides Heather. Although she didn't tell me what she was in trouble for. You know, I want to address something. Last week we talked about HSN. I didn't buy, not that I was setting out to buy anything from HSN, but I didn't get anything from HSN. It was kind of like, I don't need anything. I didn't. I wanted I wanted something, but they didn't have the price was not very um, advertising to me. It wasn't like, "Hey, girl, what's your name? Come by me." It wasn't like that. It was kind of like, "Listen, I'm expensive. If you expense, if you got expensive taste, then you could take me home." And I was like, "I'm gonna leave you right here, sir." <laughs> and so we got left it. I did not get. Listen, Heather. This is the thing about the train, right? I even tried to go to the to um, a quote unquote outside source. I'm just fussy cutting this offline. I saw another lady on here post a train. Now, don't get me wrong, that train is beautiful. Um, but she was like, "You need the big die cutting machine." And I was like, I'm not trying to spend X amount of dollars for this train. And then I have to buy the die cutting machine. And you know what happens when you buy dies. You have to buy accessories. And I didn't want to do all that. I was just like, I'm good. I didn't want to do all that. So no. Hi, Chocolate City. Sim, how you doing today? Hopefully well. Really? I'm going to have to go and check out Spellbinders. Although, didn't you tell me you had a Spellbinders or you were thinking about getting Spellbinders? I need to see. I have never seen anyone say, oh, I love the Spellbinders Die Club or whatever. It's really worth it. I, I think you should jump on that bandwagon. I've never seen anyone say that, really. Although people talk about it, I haven't seen anyone really do it like that all right yes nice so we're gonna go ahead and uh pretend like i like using scissors to do intricate detail work
cookie and pie dive. Well, I thought you said you had a scanning cut. Not judging if you if 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 what I'm about to say is offensive because Barry Crafty and I go back and forth about die cutting machines all the time. But if you have a scanning cut, you know, you could uh, or you have a cricket or a silhouette. You can do all of that. Well, see, yeah, you could do that. You could do all of that. You don't need you don't need the dies unless you need intricate dies. Um and there are many things. We're going to make sure we don't put the glue on top of the lady's hair because ain't no blue paper for all that nonsense. We ain't, we ain't got all that going on right now. Um, You could uh, make some dyes. I mean, make some cut, some images. Unless you're trying to make small, small, small ones. And they do probably have a lot of dyes coming out. Good. You know what, ma'am? I... um. I'm gonna just leave that conversation right there. I'm gonna just my new my new thing is I'm noping out of it. I'm gonna nope out of this conversation. I'm noping out of it. Nope. All right. Like my son, um, his thing is he nopes out of stuff too. I'm like, did you do this? You're like, no. Well, who did it? I don't know. Are you sure you didn't do it? I didn't. I said, so did Daddy do it? Did the cat do? I said, Nicholas jumped up here and did this, huh? He was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? Because I feel like someone did it and I didn't do it. So who did it? Um, but yeah, so if you wanted to create some not as detailed images, you could definitely use your skin and cut or your silhouette for that. We're going to go ahead and to the side. I'll put this here. I'm putting this on the front. So, you know, in the second part of your journal, you could write whatever you wanted to write. If you were really into writing uh, in journals, I mean, you got a journal, right? But you know, most of them I like to make like little albums, so close this before the air tries to push the glue out. And this paper pad I'm using is from Recollections. I got it from Tuesday morning, but it is called Superheroes, I think. Let's see what it's called. Comic Heroes. So that's what we're using some of these cut aparts for. I was going to say that they probably have some dyes if you're going to be getting any type of um, gingerbread stuff. They probably have a lot of dyes associated with that. I'll put this to put this in you know with the Christmas and probably pumpkin pie and stuff like that so I'm sure they're going to have some of the things that you're looking for and I'm not saying don't get dyes because you know you're grown you do what you want to do hello beautiful so we're gonna, we're gonna use this Hello Beautiful soon as well. So we got this page. This is a bit boring. This book is a bit boring. So we're gonna we won't finish it today because I feel like I need to put some images in here, some more quirkier quotes. I think. Let's see how we put this thing in. But also, if it's a naked journal, then that's your responsibility to. to uh, make it not so boring you know what i had i was looking for some stuff to do some christmas things with and i was like oh i really want you know i really want this and then i started thinking about it. i was like let's see if you have this and i already had the thing i really really wanted 
So, I'm, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be more mindful with the with the things that I have or don't have or think I want. I'm look I need to find another calendar that's plain. Cause I think I want to attempt to put a calendar in, but I'm gonna cut the days of the week off. So it'd be like like if we don't have any of that, let's go ahead and look at this book real quick and see. And we got one. Nope. Thought we did. Because, you know, every month doesn't have a holiday in it. We could use this one. We can use that one, but I don't, I want to use a, a, a regular calendar. February is full. This is April. Hmm. Maybe I won't be able to do that. I won't be able to see that come to fruition. The closest one is July. It has three days in. Oh, I do two. I do as well. And it's funny how it doesn't. Because, you know, we have so many at the end of the, closer to the end of the year, we're like, is it a holiday coming up? Do we have a holiday? No holidays? Okay. <laughs> Just looking for a holiday. Yes, ma'am. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> the bad thing about holidays is like, you know, when you have a short week, it seems like the following week, the short weeks seem like they're longer than the regular week. Like the regular week, the, the following regular week, at least in my experience, goes by so fast. And then the uh, you know, like if it's leading up to the holiday, it's like, oh, when is it going to come? When is that Friday going to get here? Or even that Monday? I know some jobs let people be off um, in Tuesday, in February for Super Bowl. I never had a job like that. that let me be off for Super Bowl. But people's like, oh, I'm going to take off this weekend. I'm like, for what? They're like, don't you know it's the Super Bowl? And I'm like, mm, nah, I didn't know that. But okay, that's good to know. Good to know, people. All right, so we got these little things. We still got to put these in. But I do like our pock, our pocket. And we're going to put this here. And I guess we can make this a uh, what are those a belly band. Just gonna rub that in. All right. I'm just going to turn the page a little bit. I need to put, not need, want, but love to put. I'm going to do this right here. It's not going to be a pocket, though. It's just going to be a regular um, page to write on.
but we'll leave it open so the person can decide if they want to write on it or not. So it's a massive tuck spot, right? Rubbing that in. All right, so let's go ahead and now we're going to, oh, goodness gracious, did I not put nothing in this little tag? Nope. You getting this in here. <laughs> All right. I don't like to tuck everything into the, What is this word? Into the spots. That's not the right word, but into the tuck area, spots, pockets. Yeah, that's the right word. Until uh, it's actually in the book because, you know, sometimes it can fall out. And then it's not doing well. It's not doing anyone any good falling out. Now, I thought about this and I think I think I don't want to use this fabric. This handkerchief, <laughs> I don't want to use it because I think it would be cool to actually make this the cover. What do y'all think? So I would go probably won't fit though let's see yeah it would fit fine and that would be this would be the cover and I would put this yellow pokey dotty fabric on the inside yeah, the city paper is really cool since it's an, insp it's an inspirational thing versus an actual thing. All right, so what we'll do, we'll cut this down. We'll cut this down. Because at first I was going to fussy cut this out. You know, anything to get out of fussy cutting, really is always the the plan always the plan all right i think there's plenty of room The bad part is if I screw this up, I only have one sheet to try to make amends with. So I need to make sure I'm very, very careful with this. Let's go ahead and score it. So we're going to score it at five. So if I go score it at six. I need one inch, right? Because I want it to be a one inch thing. So it needs to be five, um, five and a half, five and a half. That would be 11. And then we had an inch left. So let's see. Let's hope it works out for us. If not, we're making cards. Five and a half. Turn five and a half. That's a big inch. I mean, it's an inch. It's just wide. It looks super wide, right? Hmm. 
All right, so we're just going to have to roll with it. Okay, five and a half. Now, this would be really cool if I had laminated the page, right? But, um, no, 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 no. Let's get these scissors out. So, do y'all want to put the fabric in or no? I'm game either way. The problem if we put the fabric in, and you can definitely tell me what you're thinking, right? If I put the fabric down, she gonna have to be precise. <laughs> she gonna have to be so precise because this is the inside and this is the outside. Right? But what I could do is I could cut two sheets of paper from this, well, one sheet of paper cut in half and glue these polka dots down right here, this one, or even the stars. Yeah, let's do the stars, okay? And I can score though, I can cut those at five. Five by who knows what this length is. Let's see. Five by eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter by 12. Does that make sense? Like I can't miter the corners, although it would be really cool to do that but because the outside is not a um, is not a cover it's not like a cover and this is the actual outside I would need to reinforce it with something but if I used the original thing we could You know what? I think this is what we're gonna do. Let's let's try this. Let's just try this and see if it works. All right. So we're gonna do this. <laughs> oh, the inconsistencies, right? So we're gonna try this. Bring this down just a little bit more. Okay. You, you, okay. So, you know, last week was the issue with COVID, right? This week, I found the Betsy stamp on Macari, right? If you didn't know, I've been looking for Betsy, not Betsy Ross, the Betsy stamp from the Julie Nutting Connection. Excuse me one second. Um, perfect tear. Look at that. The crafting gods are with us, I think. Um, from Julie Nutting, right? And Betsy is the only one I don't have, right? So the lady says, the, the seller says, before you buy, if you want to bundle it, I can bundle it. I'm like, yes, I can get this. So I sent her a message and somebody buys the other stupid stamp. 
somebody buys the Betsy when she says, oh, someone got to, this is her voice. I don't know how she really sounds because, you know, we're talking via email. Someone got to the stamp before I could take it off. I'm so sorry. Do you still want this one? No, ma'am. I don't still want that one. I want both of them. So I am back on the hunt. And she had it reasonably priced. It was $9. Yeah, that's a good thing. She had it reasonably priced for nine bucks, and um, I missed out. I missed out. Too slow. I want to read this three in one really quick to see if I could use it on fabric. I think I can. I think it's the same as the other glue, but let me just see. I don't say nothing about no fabric over there. That said everything but fabric. Do not use varnish furniture. All right. So we're going to use, we're going to do this one. And now I'm looking for some trash plastic, which I don't have at my desk, which is good and bad. Excuse me one second. You know what? I agree with you, but times is hard. I'm I'm assuming she was like, I made a sale. I really wanted it. I was like, mm, I was bummed, needless to say, but I was like, all right, get on, you know, get over it. That's what I told myself at least. So we are going to Let this glue ooze on down, ooze on down. And we're going to get our corners. Now, this is some cheap cardboard, chipboard or whatever. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be a present. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to go right here on the edge. If you decide to do something like this with your glue, I do recommend you putting something underneath the fabric because this glue will seep through the fabric. But because I was so prepared to do this today I don't have my stuff with me like I need to all right so we're just gonna smooth this down just like that yeah I was a little I wasn't mad but I was like dang I missed it someone else had did a d-stash and someone bought it on on YouTube a couple of months ago and I wrote the person, like, do you have any more? And they was like, no. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But it just tells me that I may not even need her. I mean, I do not use Julie Nutting stamps every day. But I do feel that I use them like once a month. I use them, you know, I make tags. I don't know. I think it's just a sign saying let it go also i feel like you know i told y'all that julie nutting had announced her retirement i don't know if it's the retirement from prima or retirement from crafting or making stamps or whatever but i feel like prima should have did a re a resale like they should have put all of them the stamps out again right like the last hurrah whatever for selfish reasons of course because i want that stamp but it didn't happen so, yeah, I was a little bit like, dang, I missed it. I missed it. That's okay. I mean, it's not really okay, but I, what, what, what am I going to do? Tell her to cancel. I would have canceled the sale. I would have canceled the sale if it were me. But, you know, why... Um, it is the collective me list. <laughs> I want it. I mean, what's so bad about wanting it? I want it. <sighs> I'm over it, though. I'm over it. You know, I'll, I'll eventually get it. Um, so I'm not too, too upset. It was just like, it was in the grass with my hands. It's like... You know, if you play sports, which I don't, but, you know, if you're playing sports and you, 
you can st- you can win the game. You shoot shoot your basketball for your three your three pointer, and it goes around the rim, around the rim, and then it falls off. And the buzzer's up, and they're like, "Oh, upset!" Right? That was me. Come on, glue. Come on now, do your stuff. Um. So sometimes I'm just a day late and dollar short for stuff. That's what I always tell people. Like even with craft, and I'm I'm late to the the craft party sometimes. But I also march to a different beat, so I'm okay with that. When it comes to crafting, I'm like, ah, so and so's doing this. Okay, that's cool. Am I gonna do what? No. Which always makes me kind of happy. Except when I lose my lid. Yeah. And I don't know. I think I asked y'all before and nobody could answer me. What's up with Gorgeous Girl, Santoro? They keep saying new stuff. But I had could have sworn I watched a lady say that they don't even make the stamps anymore. Which is an odd thing if you think about it. You don't make your own stamp? Did that was that it? Nope. Dang it. First I'm gonna monitor the corners. I'm going right up to the edge of this. Yeah, I don't either. Because I get emails from them saying, oh, the new thing, mad as a header, blah, 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 blah. But it's not a new thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use this glue that's oozing out. Because somehow somebody misplaced the lid. So if y'all see it on my desk, let me know, please. Yes, you at home. You could definitely partake in this adventure of finding the glue lid. So I'm just rubbing this down. If you've ever did any type of book application from school back in the day, remember the first couple of days of school, y'all standing up there looking crazy because it's 30 kids in the class and it's 10 seats in the classroom. Maybe that's just where I grew up. I don't know. But yeah, um, <laughs> not enough seats. And then everybody got a book except for you. Because <laughs> instead of going in alphabetical order A, B, C, they go Z. Y, W, right? So you don't get a book either, right? But when you do get a book, they don't have any book covers. So what do you do? Because back in the day, paper was popular. You go home, you get that brown paper bag. And you cover your book with your brown paper bag and you stylize it and make it look amazing. Now kids don't even get books anymore. They get a computer and they want you to use your Wi-Fi so they could do their homework. I'm like, uh, what happened to paper and pencil? That's just me. That might just be my life. I don't know. Um, last night, one of my mom friends sent me a message. Cause they're taking typing. I won't even discuss the whole they're taking typing thing in elementary school. But, you know, whatever. And I was like, listen, you're not about to have me doing no inspector gadget nonsense trying to figure out why little Billy, um, those were the days, um, is doing something. So the kid had like, she started laughing at me too. The kid had like a hundred percent. No, it wasn't a hundred. It was like 80%, some, some weird number. And they would type in like 
a lot of words in like eight seconds. Like the, the word percentage was eight seconds. And I'm like, uh, what am I looking at here? So I actually had to call her and be like, what, what, what are we inspecting gadgeting today? And I said, I said, you're not going to get me on that bandwagon. She just laughed at me. Cause you know, I, I think all of us as parents and maybe even as competitive people have gotten a phone call and be like, did you know, Bill did this and a teacher gave him credit for it, blah, blah, blah. So you want to go do what Bill did. Um, but I had told, I said, I'm not, I'm not getting into this thing that um, so-and-so did this. So now my child has to do it. I said, I want them to, my child it is, I want them to enjoy school. I don't want them to have to um, no. I ain't even heard of that, Heather. Making um, your desk organizer out of blue jeans. Girl. See, she had crafted in her bones from back in the day. You know what? Barry Crafty probably did some stuff like that. She's very crafty, too. She probably um, had a whole situation going on. It's always the quiet ones. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty country, ma'am. I ain't never heard of that. All right. Pretty country myself. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut our paper at eight by five. Hopefully that works out. We're going to let this thing dry too while it's doing its thing. So eight and five. <laughs> well, someone wants to tell me that my car warranty has expired. My son loves answering the phone. I have a house phone, um, landline, right? And people are called and he's like, Mom. I'm like, yes. Someone said something about our car. I was like, just hang up. No, mom, it's important. I'm like, just hang up. I made this too long. I'll cut it down a little bit. Oh, the trapper keepers. Hi, foster mom. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. Yeah, I we couldn't afford trapper keepers. So I just had the regular binders. But those things were cool. The little flip over, you open it up, it had like the little pencils and pens and all that cool jazz. Yes. Very cool. All right. So my glue lid is missing. Have y'all ever lost a glue lid before? Yeah, favorite band, pictures, all that stuff. Very fun. Let's make sure. Before I have to measure it and cut it again. <laughs> all right. Now, I was thinking, and we still could do this because... I don't think this would look bad on the edges. We could try to see. But I'm going to need all this glue to dry before I put the needle in. 
So we'll probably sew our signatures next week. Or I might, this is a big might. I might work on it <laughs> this week and then we can start a new project. I think I want to start doing some seasonal projects for all of the upcoming seasons. Um, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, in no particular order because that would be boring, right? And I don't like that we get caught up on just doing certain things on certain times. I mean, I know it, it makes sense to do Halloween first because that's the first holiday, then Thanksgiving and then Christmas. But I'm making a junk journal cover right now. So what we're doing, we started out with our signatures. I'll show you that in a minute. And then now this is the cover. And I had a different idea, but I decided to go with this, even though I already cut that paper down wasteful um but we'll do something else with it we can make another journal no problem but next and then i can laminate this if i have paper that's uh laminating paper that's long enough we can laminate that and you know it'll be good yeah <laughs> sam i dated a guy named sam in high school Wow. <laughs> you know, it's nothing to discuss either. It wasn't like, oh, it was so heartbreaking or it was so amazing. The one that got away. Nah, nothing like that. <laughs> I don't have any of those one that got away stories to my knowledge. Because I am a firm believer in what you got is what was meant for you to have versus, oh, you should have been a better person or you should have did this, you should have did that. Oh, you want to do, I'm not understanding the NLM going to do something similar to three and third, but are you going to do... I'm going to need some uh, translation. So this is our cover. And this, oh, look at this. Oh, hey. We need to put some glue here because it's oozing out. I mean, it's not um, sticking down. I always seem to want to turn my covers inside out once I make them covers, but no. That would be fun. A fall thing, yeah. I um, I have a few things up my sleeves for the upcoming year, but I just need to make sure some of the people that uh, oh, you're on a treadmill. Just make me feel bad. Here I am cutting paper. And you over there getting your sweat on. All right, so oh my goodness, we're gonna have to cut this down again. We will not be able to cut this one down. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to leave the journal hanging out because a lot of people make journals and half the stuff hangs out. All right, so from my understanding, a junk journal is a book that you create from a bunch of junk around your house, right? Um, and it's not real junk. It's just stuff called junk, like newspapers, uh junk mail envelopes, advertisements, and some smart person came about and they turned it into a junk journal and then it caught on. And what you do is you write different things in there. So this is ours thus far. And I do like it. It's very different than how I envisioned it at first. And we, I'm going to probably try and glue another Wonder Woman image on here. Um... Are you going to host it, Heather, or are you just going to do it and be done? So these are our signatures, and signatures are complete closure pages that you put into a book. So if you ever open up a regular book, let me see if I can reach one off the bookshelf real quick. Yeah. Let's 
see. So like this book, right? Inside of here, you see those little sections where it's like glued at or whatever. These are signatures. And some of them have, um, I'm trying to find it, sewn or, and are glued images. Some are sewn and glued. And if you ever bought a book and it falls apart, then you know I probably was at the factory that day not paying attention and talking about random junk. But see right here, you can see it's glued. So those are different signatures. Most craft are so in their signatures by hand or on machine. But some people bind, you know, they bind their books with actual um, glue. Two cards a month should get me a hand of you send out Halloween and Christmas uh, Halloween cards. That's cool. I don't. So, what do y'all think? Do you think we should add more ribbon? I don't know if we need to do all that. I think just a plain flat ribbon would be cool. Um, I mean a plain, a plain, no. Uh, A no pattern ribbon. Yeah, I have a few things that I'm just gonna do, and if people want to jump on in the collab in in it, and they can collab with me, but I'm not gonna say what it is just yet. But anyway, I um, am going to be bringing this to a close very shortly. I just want to know if you guys think we should add this ribbon to it. Yay or nay? If not, we'll leave it kind of open. I could, which I don't really want to. I could put another one down. But I like the contrast of the polka dot and the... Oh, stars. I like that. And what I think I'm going to do is I am going to... Cut out a Wonder Woman. And I can find the paper. And we're going to put her on there. So we're doing a lot of fussy cut. Yes to the ribbon. Which one? Plain or, or chevron? Think, do we? I think we may fussy cut her and put her on here. Yes, she gonna work out great. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I'm not gonna tell you I read Sh chew it up. <laughs> I was like, chew what? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I got up way too early this morning. And I just kind of laid in bed. I was like, ugh. Because apparently I am the only alarm clock in the house that works, right? The big room is like, I need to be gone by this time. I'm like, what you telling me for? You gonna wake me up, right? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. I'm not the alarm clock lady. But apparently I am because I went and woke his up because <laughs> you know what he said you're gonna be up anyway okay you're right sir actually you know what i think um don't quote me y'all don't quote me i think i may try to sew her on and i'll tell you why i might try to sew her on I think it look cool sawing on but I should have did that before I put this on because uh, I don't know yeah I don't think we're going to sew her because it won't look right sewn on 
It will look good on the front, but not the front because I put this page down. So next time, future, for the future. Do it in the future if we decide to do that. I love her hair. Scoot her over some. Okay. You know, when I first started crafting and cutting up the images and stuff, I used to always be like really afraid of cutting off the images, you know, cut arms and legs and all kinds of stuff off. Now I'm kind of like, hmm, let's go ahead and chop her neck. <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. I guess after a while, you kind of get over your fear of messing something up because at the end of the day, it truly is just paper, no matter how much I always complain and be like, see, it's not paper anymore because I've done so much work to it. It still really is just paper. But who wants to go back and do all of that other stuff, right? I mean, I don't. I definitely do not want to do that. I'm going to fussy cut her out really quickly if I can. Is it even a such thing as really quickly fussy cutting? Does anyone use the billow markers, pens, excuse me, pencils? This lady on here, Louise Marie Jenkins, I think is her name. I think that's her name. She's a mixed media artist. I definitely, Samara, you're so right. I will chop it off in a heartbeat. Be like, oh, her legs are messing up the shot. Chop. <laughs> Is it Louise Marie Jenkins? I think that's her name. They recently moved. She did a video about the movie. She used to be in California. And I want to say she moved to Peru. But that could just me be me making stuff up. Because I looked at some stuff about Peru earlier today. So I could have just made that up. But she did move recently out of the country, out of America. Um, but she does such great work. And her art is mixed media because it's always kind of like Tim Holtz-esque. But it's not Tim Holtz. Like she'll take a, a random magazine image and put it on things and make it look so pretty. I used to always watch her videos for inspiration. But then I started having that, oh, I need to get this because my art could look really good. And I was like, girl, who you fooling? You know, you not know, let's get this and do that with type of person. <laughs> but the reason why I asked about a Stabilo is because she would take it. And it's kind of like a, it is a, um, a, uh, crayon that's you think about how you can like smudge it so she would take her projects and always like kind of outline the images and it would look so cool so so cool i love it but you know um When I first started, I was, I don't know, I felt kind of weird cutting off somebody's arm or leg. And then I guess I was like, you know what, this is some paper. It's just an image. You could do it. You can do it. And I started it now. See, I didn't cut this lady body off. She, she, um, just a head and, and, and some shoulders. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is my last story I'm going to tell y'all because, you know, I have it's something always crazy happening to me. I'm not sure if I invoke the crazy like I wake up I'm like, OK, crazy, come and hang out with me today. Or if I invoke the crazy. Right. So I had went to Wally World Sunday morning. They opened at six o'clock and I went 
there early in the morning, early, early in the morning. And I wanted to buy a new crock pot. Now, I didn't do any research. I have the brand crock pot right now, right? But it's so tiny. It's a smaller crock pot and I need a larger crock pot so I can make more and have more left over so I don't have to keep cooking every night. It's for selfish reasons. Make no mistake about that. It is definitely for selfish reasons. Um, so anyway. I um, I get there and they have a oval shaped one. Because I have a circle, a circular uh, crock pot. And it's not that big. It's really not as big as it should be. Um, I'm going to cut this down just a little bit and put this page right behind there. And we're going to go ahead and apply this paper right here. Yep. And I want it to be at the top more so at the, than at the bottom because we're going to cover it up like this. Right? So anyway, so I go there and they have stuff every freaking where all over the floor i guess they don't stay open um late to do the inventory you know to put the stuff up and maybe the truck comes early in the morning i don't know i don't know how the situation is with them getting the stuff or whatever so i see one that's a good price a nice decent size for me and my family and i asked the lady ma'am do y'all have any more of these and she says she looks it up and she says, yes, we have three in stock. And I'm like, great, because I don't see any on the shelf, right? Um, she says, well, if you don't see it on the shelf, that means we don't have any. I said, what now? I said, what? What you just say, ma'am? I didn't ask her, but I said, oh. Get down, Nicholas. I said, oh, okay. You don't have any on the shelf. Okay. I said, well, I'll just walk around. Because you know what happens sometimes. Customers being the raggedy people that they are sometimes. They'll pick something up. They won't want it. And you'll find meat in the sock department. Like I have, right? Especially at Wally World. That's why I don't really mess with their meats that much. Unless it's a specific kind and I've seen the person putting the meat out. Other than that, I don't really, I don't trust their meat like that. Because people be putting stuff out back on the shelf. Um, so, I'm like, did I just hear this lady tell me that if I don't, I don't see it, they don't have any? Um, needless to say, I walk around like a fool looking for it for about a good five ten minutes i walk up and down every aisle because they could have just put it in the wrong spot you know stalkers new people sometimes you know it happens people put stuff in the wrong spot or whatever nope mm -mm, they didn't have any so i tell a big roommate <laughs> he said what like how do you tell me you have three in stock and then you say if it's not that and you don't have any now, I do understand that the numbers don't always reflect, but you're an employee and you pull out your little employee calculator thing, Majig. How? Tell me that. How? How? So anyway, I ordered one offline from Walmart and I need to go pick it up today. And hopefully it's um, a, big, a good one. So the one I was going to buy at first was a Hamilton Beach one, but it was red. Ew. Um... <laughs> Nothing wrong with the color red, though. Um, but, you know, so I ordered one yesterday for a very good price. I just hope, I just hope, because I haven't checked to see if they canceled the order or not. I hope they have it in stock and it's a good size. But I had asked Santa for a crock pot two years ago now, two or three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> me too chocolate me too and um santa just ignored me when i said i sure i asked i asked you for a crock pot a couple of years ago bro santa was like oh you did <laughs> i 
my son has been getting me a new leg since he could talk. So since 2000, well, since he knew about Christmas and could say, I'm going to get you something. 2019, I've been getting a new leg. I still haven't got that new leg. I don't think at this point I'm going to get the new leg, but, you know, wishful thinking. All right, so we're going to do this right here. I told my aunt that he's like she was like oh that's so sweet I'm like really you think that's sweet okay so we're gonna cut this right here I guess this is her lasso of truth right You know what? I've been waiting on a new, a new back for a minute. When I was a little girl and I played with my Barbie dolls, I would take them apart and put on different heads and stuff. If that was the case for humans, sign me up. With no pain, no rejection of it not working, you know, no transfusion issues. Just pop that sucker off and put on a new one. Hmm. Ma'am, I'd be running marathons. Tying my shoes without saying, oh, oh, oh. But nope, here we are. And I'm oh, oh, and oh, and tying my shoes. You know, when you're younger and you do a lot of stupid stuff to your body, you don't realize that you got to get older. <laughs> Foster mom crazy. <laughs> yeah, they don't care what I want. I don't want a new dang back for sure. So this is the finish situation i like it yeah i was gonna color her right here but i decided not to i think it's gonna be cool right here we're gonna put something um here like i thought timeless would go not right here but i thought timeless would be a good thing but we're gonna put another word we're gonna find some words if y'all have any suggestions you know you can just send me an email if you like but that is that i do need to erase this real quick gently not too hard because we don't want it to go from being glue boogers to dirty glue boogers all right thank you so much thank you so much and so this won't really matter just so i mean it won't matter that much, but we like we like a full situation, right? And it's gonna hang out. So we, I don't want to cut these pages down, though. I love it. I love it. It's not staying with me, though. It's definitely not gonna be my project. So I think we'll put. Um, where's this thing at? Do, would, I'm not going to do it today, but would y'all like to see me sew the signatures in? Or you okay with me not sharing that? If you want to see me sew the signatures in, just let me know. If not, you know, we'll move on. I think what we're going to do, though, is next week we'll take some time, unless you want to see a complete project. I think we'll take some time and make some envelopes, junk envelopes out of this. Because I'm going to print this page right here. It's a boo-boo page, so we can definitely do an envelope out of this page and put it in some of those spots that we need to fill in. But this is it, our signature. And it needs the signature still needs a little bit more dressing to it. But these take time to do, in my opinion. So that is what we have, all right? So I want to say thank you all, all for watching. I hope you had a great time. And until next time, happy crafting.